What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, Big Sigh to start the day. Oh no, that's sad. What's up, Badger? Good seeing you guys. Look at this. Look at this line here from this uh, from this green screen. Oh, which step? I think we only have like two in the queue right now, and they're both pretty specific. I think. Let's find out. One is thick boys only. All creatures must have toughness four or greater. Token Thank generators you. are allowed, but final deck must have a minimum of five thick boys. Colors and archetypes up to you. Reanimator, sneaky show, ramp control, etc. Um, so that could be an option. Another is uh, try to draft a reanimator. The only must picks in order are one shielded, two Ashiok, three Nicobolus planeswalker. Esper is preferred if possible, but I'm okay with any shell if you get shielded and have better options. Power has priority over everything except shielded. So. I'm now in a hotel that has actual decent internet. Man, Badger, I love your commitment to, to hanging out and watching the stream even while you're traveling in the U.S. at a con in a hotel. Metal Joe, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. We really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's go pick two Lotus again. Yes. Let's 100% do that. I would also not mind to pick two Ancestral Recall. This has a 1,200 active players. How many active players does... Or the spark has 2200 so all right not bad not bad all in favor of thick boys <laughs> i mean i'm totally fine with it i just want to make sure we can get the cards one of my big issues is that sometimes you do stipulations and people in the in the in the comments are like you totally didn't do this stipulation correctly you basically took this person's money and then i'm like but i i don't i didn't really have an option i didn't i nothing came and uh so I want to make sure that, like, you know, by the first couple picks that we're definitely uh, trying. I'm actually going to... I'm going to blow my nose. Oh, Mox Jet. That is a good one. I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to blow my nose. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. Oh, Dingus Egg. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, we did it. Let's take this Mox Jet. This is the fattest, this is the thickest of boys there is. Well, she's a lady. This is the thickest lady there is. Thick lady. Who's that lady? Who's that thick lady? We could also do the reanimator step. Um, Merit Lage is thicker, actually. That's a good point. That is a good point. Um... Spent the last hour in a locker room with my students because of a tornado five miles away. Is five miles close or not close in terms of tornadoes? What's the, um, like, what's the distance that you're expected to be like, okay, now we should start panicking? Five seems close. But it's also very far. Like, that's also a far distance from normal people. But I imagine tornadoes can get, can, can cover ground pretty quickly. Is it, it's either Emrakul or I like this Demir signal a lot. If you can see the tornado, that's bad. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too. And if it's traveling forty-five miles an hour, it's it'll probably get to you in five minutes. So we took Emrakul because that's just the that's just the fattest lady of all. How do we play it though? That's the question. <clears throat> it is a thick boy. Gideon's also a thick boy. Oh, Gideon, oh, a thick boy. We could also just play Sylvan Carry Added. We can play Black Green Thick Boys. I kind of like that. You're, it, thick boys is pretty easy when you got the greens. I don't like Liliana though. I, I hate this Liliana. I don't want to discard my own cards. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is a controversial opinion, but I don't even care. I'm gonna take this carry out. I think it's probably better than Signet if we are green. If we're not green though, this Signet's probably better though, right? Similarly, Everflowing Chalice, also a green. Hmm.
If you don't pick Bob, you're not a real magic player. I accept. I accept. Ooh, an overgrown tomb? When we already have a black and a green persuasion? Hmm. Animate that also nice. <sighs> Chad did want the reanimate. See, now I'm like, I'm torn between thick boys and reanimate here, and I don't know what to do. Man, this is hard. This is a difficult time to be alive. I think Animate Dead is just better than Overgrown Tomb, and it's not... Trojan Rage also preferred Esper, or like Blue Blackish. Water Sports Drew, thanks so much, Larissa, buddy. Thank you, thank you, really appreciate it. You are uh, the dude. 24 months, two years is a good amount of time. Alright, we took this. Oh, Verdant Catacomb just comes right on over. Okay, well... That's nice. That makes me feel better about the uh, Overgrown Tomb pick. Maybe the Overgrown Tomb comes back. Natural Order. That seems great at bringing back your Thick Boys. Yeah, we're going to take an, an early Natural Order. Okay. Okay. Oh, nothing here that's super exciting. We could play Demon Lord Bells and Locks. Sword of Fire and Ice is probably one of my favorite swords. I know swords aren't uh, looked at as favorably in the Vintage Cube, but I don't even care. I still enjoy a good sword, especially when it's one of the better swords available. This pack is pretty terrible. Chrome Mox? Is Chrome Mox any good? I actually don't think it is, but maybe? I don't think it's Dark Petition. I don't think it's Botanical Sanctum. I'm just going to take the Chrome Mox. Bayou? Yeah, I'm just going to take the Yawn Color. I mean, we can get more Findhorn Elf type creatures. I think Bayou is... Uh, I mean, it is the most premier dual land that we could possibly get, along with Burden Catacomb. So maybe that Overgrown Tomb does come back. Jeez. Big Green is regularly my favorite, one of my favorite archetypes to draft in a La Cube. Go for the throat? Sure. That's fine. How many butts do we have right now? I think we have like one butt. We only have one butt. It's funny because Sylvan Carry Added is almost a thick boy. Like, if we had, like, Wall of Roots, that's a thick boy. Because thickness is defined by toughness. Mm, nature's Claim is fine. Look, the Bob came back, still didn't take it. Is this, is this three thick boys in one? Hmm. These are the questions we ask ourselves. Uh, language is fine. Oh, all creatures must have toughness four or greater. Oh, that makes the Sylvan carry added much awkward. Much more awkward. Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought. Oh, that's no good. This might not be any stip at all. This might just be a deck we're drafting. <laughs> I don't want to mess that up. That seems hard to do. That seems like we're going to have to focus on, like, Planeswalkers and, and big creatures. Okay. The stip is all creatures must have toughness four or greater. So we're just going to... And this is also not a, a, re, a reanimator strategy with Shigoldred. Uh, Four toughness is not too bad. You just have to draft a control deck, and then you can take things like Titans... Or sneak and show Emrakul, stuff like that. So it's it's actually pretty easy. However, we do have to wait for our next pack here Bayou I'm pretty sure it's Bayou right oh and burial rights yeah let's do it we're kind of reanimating here that guy's actually just fine let's see what the internet says Bayou 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 it's not, it's not no, it's not no Bayou. 
Putrid Imp last pick is actually nuts because it lets us discard cards to Umbrella Rights or Animated. That's actually pretty sweet. All right. Hate that spelling then. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, you know? Oh, Survival of the Fittest? Are we a Survival of the Fittest deck? I mean, all decks are Survival of the Fittest decks, right? It's an easy discard outlet. What was Chad's stipulation again? Try to draft Reanimator. Only must pick Shieldred, Ashrock, Nicobolus. I'm okay with any shell if you get Shieldred and have better options. All right. Let's let's try for that. Because I think we're looking good for... I think we're looking good for some kind of Reanimator shenanigans. Also, Mana Vault's insane, but... I think I do want Survival. Gristlebrand seems like a good card to reanimate. Also, Sylvan Library. <sighs> Pack 1 seems better? What do you mean? What are you saying right now? Uh, I think it's... I think it's Crystal Burn, right? We have waste two ways to reanimate this guy. Mannequin, actually, Simic Signet's great here because uh, Chad does want us to play Ashiok if we get Ashiok, and it's also an on-color Signet. Pack Rat, discard outlet. Vivian Reed's just pretty good. Unfortunately, Emrakul does not uh, get reanimated very easily. I guess you can actually reanimate Emrakul with Makeshift Mannequin, which is pretty decent. Windswept Heath does get by you, which is pretty nice. I think it's one of these two. Actually, it could just be Packrat. <sighs> could be Sheldog. Actually, Sheldog's probably great in this deck. We are going to have to go closer to Sultai, though, if we do that. Because not only is this going to be one of our blue lands, but we have to have another blue land to actually activate this land. So, you know. Eternal Witness seems fantastic. Eternal Witness, you can get back uh, Natural Order and the Natural Order of the Eternal Witness. Yeah, I like Eternal Witness. I think I like it more than Tireless Tracker. Elves of Deep... Shh. Guys, it's worth two through the Breaching when we have Sylvan Carry added. And... Uh... Um. Hmm. This is this is very tempting. This is very tempting because of this. Cuz we're not really on course to play like tooth and nail. This isn't really like a tooth and nail rampy deck. I want to take the elves of deep shadow because I don't want to go too deep. This is double blue unfortunately. Sword of Body and Mind is actually probably better than Fire Eyes, in my opinion. I'm just going to take the sword here because we don't have any white. Uh, Smuggler's Copter is actually decent. It lets us discard things. Incubation Druid might be a little better. Incubation Druid is also another creature we can sack to Natural Order, so I think we're going to Incubation Druid here. Don't care about any of these cards. I can see Harpy to Spring, and then we just cast Emrakul on turn six, eight, seven, six with one mana elf. None of these other cards are super good, though, so. Doom Whisper is actually fine. Opposition? We're not an opposition deck. We're really. We're really blue black and just splashing, like, blue for nothing yet. It sucks because right now we're at a position where the Emrakul and the Natural Order are not great. That is a 
perfectly fine pick. How's the cube sufficiently moist? Is it moist? I can either confirm nor deny the cube's moistness. It's for everyone's benefit. Um, yeah, Ashen Rider seems nuts. This is actually just a great card. We can discard it pretty easily to things like Future Imp, Survival of the Fittest, Pack Rat. This guy's a land. Quit trying to play like you're not a land. Oh, there's the Ashiok. All right. So we did find an Ashiok. As per Chad's desire. And there's nothing nothing in here that I really care about. Grave Titan would be great if it came back, but I have my doubts. Super easy. Blooming Marsh? You're pretty fine. We can also reanimate Inkwell Leviathan, which is nice. But I think we have... I mean, the fact that we have Survival means both of these guys are pretty easy to get. I think we just want the land. Or a Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch actually is, might be better because it taps for blue as well. I'm pretty sure it's actually Noble Hierarch. I'm not sure it seems that that close, to be honest. Uh, I feel like a Sakura Tri-Builder. Frantic Search actually seems pretty good. Let me lower this. I had this in a place where I thought it was fine before, but then I had to raise it. I think it's probably fine here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's either this or this or this. I don't think we're skull clamping or this. Um, I mean, clamp is always good. I don't know if it's great here, but it's always usually pretty decent. Almost kind of. Yeah, I think Tribal is fine. Necromancy's great. Nicobol is a god, a dragon god. That is not the same as the one Chad was hoping for. Probably pretty close, but I think Necromancy's probably just a better pick here. Where's Mike? <laughs> Mike is. I don't know, man. Mike has to work at four. And he's probably got to go to the... I think he's like at physical therapy and he's like, he just messaged me and he's like, you mind if I pay you the rent late? And I'm like, sure. What choice do I have? What choice do I have? Uh, we have Animate Dead, Unbarrel Rights. Yeah, let's go Necromancy here. Ooh, Watery Grave is great, especially with Verdant Catacombs. Terastanon is great with something like Natural Order. I don't know if Natural Order is great for this deck, though. I could. I could break his kneecaps. That is, uh, that is a good point. I think we just want that Watery Grave here. And we're going to hope for another big fat green idiot. We could also load up our graveyard and play Living Death. Uh, I like Creeping Tarpit, though. Creeping Tarpit and, and Mox Jet let us play turn two Ashiok. Yeah, let's just take the Creeping Tarpit. Let's work on our mana base. A Scarab God seems legit perfect. You want to reanimate? Let's reanimate. Entomb. Well, that's pretty perfect. All right, now we're making cuts, guys. I like Trigon Predator. Ophiomancer also pretty decent. We're going to cut the natural order. Probably cutting Emrakul for now, too. And we can take Trigon Predator. That's a fine card. We took the tarpit. Take, take it easy. I'm rich. The C is for cash. Wait, where am I? Oh, Mike C. <laughs> Mike C, I don't know where you are. I don't even know who you are, Mike C. All right, so we can either take Lumbering Falls or Blooming Marsh. I think it's probably Lumbering Falls. We only have like three blue cards, but we want to make sure we can cast them. We can also take Vraska's Content. Actually, I like Vraska's Content better. Beast Within seems good. We don't have a ton of removal, which is why I'm leaning towards these. 
Yeah, I like Beast of Them. Chat, my cat totally got me. Go on. Go on. We can also uh, flashback on Barrel Rights with either Noble Hierarch or Sylvan Carry added, which is nice. And Incubation. No, not Incubation Druid, though. Just kidding. Ooh, Bone Shredder. Ooh, Bone Shredder. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Wow, the two cards we wanted come back. That's nuts. That Shut is nuts. My, money. my share of Mike's share of the rent. Wow, you guys are ridiculous. Don't enable him. All he has to do is save money. That's literally all he has to do. He has to not go out to eat three times a day, and he just has to save money and have enough money put aside for an emergency if he has to have a rent payment that he that he missed too much work to pay for. That's it. That's it. All right, this is 29 cards. Boy, we sure picked up this Natural Order Terrastodon. The problem is I don't love Natural Order outside of Terrastodon that much, right? Did I not update the command? What was the last thing? Add com stip. Why did that not? Interesting. Shut up and take my money. Yeah, alright. That works. My share of Frank's share of Mike B's share of Frank's rent. Nice. Nice. That'll help. That'll really help. You guys are... You guys are killing it. You guys are... I appreciate you all. Do I Trigon Predator? Probably, right? So what's our removal pack? Uh, let's let's sort. Let's sort. Let's, uh, let's group the creatures separately. There we go. Ashiok can go up here. Probably cut the sword. Although we have a lot of creatures that can wear a sword. This is 27. I have Animate Dead, Necromancy, Unbarrow Rights for these guys. And Scarab God. You can probably cut Doom Whisper. This is 16 creatures. That's a lot. Ways to get creatures out of our hand. Putrid Imp, Pack Rat, Survival of the Fittest. I just drafted a Nia Wildfire deck. How did it go? Are you still in it right now? Are you in it to win it? Will you humor me and show chat my draft deck from last night? Oh boy. Let me find it. Yeah, El Elkteris is like, man, I love this format. And uh, this was his draft deck. You got a little, uh, you got a little Sahili, a Teferi, two Jace's Triumphs, a Kazmina, a Jace himself, an Ugin, two Wanderer Strikes, two Rescuer Sphinx, a Thunder Drake, an Eternal Skylord, two Spellkeeper Weirds, an Avon Eternal, four two, two Mana Flyers, and uh, I literally have no idea why he wouldn't love this format. Like, <laughs> it's like, seems good, my dude. Seems good. Hey, look, you got two Jace's Triumph and an actual Jace Planeswalker, so it's just perfect. Uh, Alright, so we're still making cuts. We need three cuts still. Which I don't love. I can see cutting Doom Whisperer, but dude, that guy's just so fat. So fat. Maybe Sakura Tri Builder? Average. <laughs> Mediocre. Um... I'm still not sold on Natural Order Terrastodon. It's the only... Like, if we end up drawing the Terrastodon and it goes to the graveyard, the Natural Order is just basically dead. I could still see playing the Terrastodon. I don't think a Natural Order is, is really where we want to be. 
That looks like he just opened 24 packs by himself and picked out the cards he wanted. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We need one cut now. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Could be Trigon Predator. But I don't think it is in, in Vintage Q. I think Trigon Predator is just very, very good. Maybe go for the throat? One, two, three, four, five. Why is this over here? That was weird. Kajite. Can you get away with running 26, 16 lands? Uh, I could just play 41. I don't know why we didn't. All right, combine the groups, sort by color. Probably running one island. And then we have, that leaves us with one, two, Three, four, five, six sources of blue. Not including like Sylvan Carry added or uh, Noble Hierarch. Uh, no white. Don't be silly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, so this is six, seven, eight. Nine, and this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sixteen lands, one mox. Seems good. All right, let's do it. I mean, we have a Trigon Predator. We also have an Ashiok. So, like, we have multiple ways that we want to have a blue source on turn three. And also, Signet's just very good when you're wrapping a big fat. I will play first. This hand is not great. It's got everything we need though. Like it's got all the colors. It's got a four and a five. If we just if we hit in tomb and then animate that, I think we're just good to go. Okay, okay. As long as they don't play something super threatening here. That's not that threatening. Like, Ashok just goes to seven. Or three, rather. Oh, we got a Mystic Snake? Never going to be able to use that effectively, but still, kind of cool. It's cool in spirit. So they play a dude. We kill the dude. We have a blocker. Ashiok lives to fight again. Why do vampires bite people's necks to turn them undead? Because they're necromancers. Wow. But they're not. That doesn't make any sense. They don't, they don't raise the dead. <laughs> Oh my god, did I just set that forest on fire? Was that a, uh... Was that a forest fire? Oh, what did we hit this turn? Noble Hierarch, and we're hitting all your... All your lands. Your land Aruskis. I almost don't want to kill this, because I'd rather just block it. Then Ashok takes one. I think this is fine. Because if they play something bigger than this that let that, that this guy just dies to, then we just get to reanimate it and kill that thing, so. I mean, actually, as a Californian, forest fires are serious business. You're 100% correct. 
Wilderness Reclamation. Boba Fett. That's not okay. Uh, I will choose no blockers. They didn't play anything? Oh, they played this and then they untapped, I guess. Tropical island, everything under the tropical island is... Wow, we hit three creatures. An Elvish Mystic, an Arbor Elf, and a Fairgrounds Warden. So we've hit three one-mana elves. That's fascinating. Is there anything that can ambush us here? I don't think so. They don't have Avacyn mana. Well. <laughs> don't I feel stupid. I didn't think they'd just run out of spell cooler like that. Joke's on me, I guess. Sure, that's like, not a huge concern. I don't know if it seems real good for us. It seems fine. I mean, now necromancy resolves, so. Look at all this effort they're devoting to, uh, to Ashiok. Yeah, it's also a... What do we hit? Green Sun, Caracas, Tundra. Okay. Uh, do they? You think they have a sneaky way to? Do they have something else now? Do they have an Avacyn? Maybe. Let's play around like Mana Tithe. They do not have anything close to a Mana Tithe. We're just going to kill this guy because it's in the way. We could have also kept a, uh, a green up to flip this at the end of the turn so that if we do hit a land we can play to rest on, but... Oh, we just won the game. Alright, that's pretty good too. Winning the game is fun, guys. You ever win the game before? It's good. It's good times. Yeah, I'm just going to submit like this, I guess. I'm pretty sure you've used that wind turbines one. I'm pretty sure you're just going, you're just cycling through now. Tell us a joke. <laughs> I don't think I know any jokes. I don't keep many jokes like just handy in the in the in the chamber. I don't have a joke chamber where I keep my jokes. Oh my god, look at this hand. This hand is great with a green mana. Do we just keep our fingers crossed for a green? Yes we do. Yes, we do. On the draw, no less. Uh, wow. This is the most unexciting Sheldock Isle in 2019. Dang it. 
We could actually just pass and discard Doom Whisper and then animate dead at next turn. How bad is that? Just bad enough to work. Because he was minute. Wow, that's insane. Oh, he could have actually terrestrial. Why did I why did I discard this? I could have discarded this. Oh my god. I totally blacked out because I'm like, oh black card ran away the black creature. It's like natural or you can only do it with the same color. Oh well. I was also thinking of smoothing our land drops. Uh and be like, oh I can just find a green to do this, so. Yeah, it's fine. It's gotta be a green source. Oh, it's a pack rat. Isn't that special? I could just play this and discard Terastodon now. Hmm. Hmm. I could also just reanimate this Mull Drifter. But then we'd have to discard a card. And then we can discard the Terastodon. This is probably This is probably worse. I mean, we still don't have a... Still don't have a green source, huh? This is a fascinating development. It was pointless. That's amazing. Huh. So if I kill this, I get back the animate dead and I can choose a new target? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that seems pretty good for us. This does not seem ideal for you, my friend. Are you gonna counter my pack rat? Oh, that's fine. Eh, nobody cares. This game was a mess, but it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. None of these things I care about. So if we Ravenous Chupacabra and kill this... I really just want this Ashen Rider, to be honest with you. What does that leave us? I think we can actually Pack Rat discard... Ooh, this is nice. Pack Rat discard Ashen Rider, and then next turn we can Chupacabra this guy. Let's do that. And then we'll have two two twos for the Brimaz. Or we can just block the the irrelevant cards. But now I can look back and laugh. Wow. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Is this real? No. This is too good to be true, right? No. No. Stop. Get out of town. Why would you give me that? I don't know what's happening.
I guess get in there. Real talk, are you a narc? That doesn't even make any sense. It literally makes no sense. I'm gonna kill this. Trustani. That's pretty good. That's uh pretty good. So might as well block here because I have no incentive. Like, we're gonna have to block two twos at some point. We don't have a way to answer this directly. Six is a lot of non-green mana. Like a surprising amount of non-green mana when we have three. Three little rampy boys in hand. Well, we're not going to attack into this. Have you seen Detective... No, I haven't I haven't seen Detective Pikachu, and I'm not sure if I'm going to. Uh, I was... Pretty disinterested at first, but then I heard a bunch of people who were just like, it's pretty good. So that surprised me. Have you seen Surprise Pikachu? I have. I have. Alright, we're looking for a removal spell. Or a green mana. We got one under here. All we have to do is find two cards. Two cards deep is all we need here. That does nothing for us. It gets us one closer to this, I guess. But at this point, we're just assuming they're going to be better for it. Do we have any... We don't have... If we had a white source, that'd be great. Because we can entomb unburial rights. So if we had this Noble Hierarch or the Sylvan Carry added in play. Still an option. I thought it was a movie. It was neither good nor bad. It was what I wanted. If it was what you wanted, wouldn't that make it good? I don't understand. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what you get. Fails to find a artifact, a artifact or enchantment card. <laughs> Not an artifact or enchantment card. Oh boy, that's, that's, that's some quality, quality grammar right there, guys. Hey, did you find a artifact? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Also, why did you fail to find? How many do you have in your deck? Do you just have Celestia Signet? I don't understand. The literally, the only artifact or enchantment is, oh, Celestia Signet Face Fetters? Those are the only ones you have? What? You done messed up a artifact. <laughs> oh. You done messed up a Ron. Oh my god. Why do you have this? Well, during their upkeep, we can shell Doc Isle. Or during their turn, I guess. No attacks? Alright, I like it. I like it. Oh, I like it. Is OP Mike B? You know, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh my god, I never thought I'd see the day. Let's play Sylvan Carry Added because it's just better than Noble Hierarch in this situation because it can A, block 2-2s, two and B, can't be killed. So I think... I think that wins us the game. I'm pretty sure that's actually not a law. I think that's actually a myth. I don't think anyone has to actually tell you that they are or aren't a narc or a cop. I don't think that's true. If you can disprove me, I would love to know. But I'm pretty sure that's just an urban legend.
Thank you. Danny DB, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I still have your uh, your deck in the queue. Don't don't think I forgot. I have a a, a, a list that I check daily. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. That sounds like something a narc would say. Wow. Wow. What are they doing here? What is uh, happening? If we lose this game after they literally suicided this guy into us getting Ashen Rider back and they enlightened Tutor and missed. Green Sun for three. I mean, this, this turn's going to be great because we can Entomb, Unbarrel Rights, get Ashen Rider back. Yeah, I had a feeling that they were going to get something that would kill our, our enchantment. Yeah, that seems totally fine. Because this guy gets sacrificed. And then we get to get rid of Tristani. Can't really kill this because they'll just tap a white and bounce it. It's true that it's a myth. Nice. That's funny. Because I think it's something that everyone believes. Exile that Tristani, the one with the waggly tail. Interesting. They got spell queller. Oh, they're gonna spell queller something, my dudes. Let's entomb here and see if you want to spell queller this. You don't. Oh, you do. Let's put an unburial roots in the graveyard. Who talks like this? I don't know. Kill this idiot. See, if they spell queller this, then we can go unburial rights, Ashen Rider. You ever just quelled? Oh, I didn't even block. I'm like, I don't even care, man. You know what? Oh, what's happening right now? Oh. Oh. Fascinating. You want some Hungry Howie's? <laughs> I think I'm good right now. I actually just had some lunch a little bit ago. Okay, I was worried they had a blue card that they could do a thing with, but they don't. Do we have enough? We don't even have enough mana for this guy. This is this mana base is is fine, but currently it's terrible. What do we get back here? Ashen Rider or Terastodon? <laughs> but I get dinner. I uh, I rarely turn down people buying me dinner because it's just it's just a kind gesture, and I appreciate it. Uh, that being said, let's reanimate something here. I think it's Ashen Rider. Did I overpay? God, I'm the worst. I don't even know how Magic the Gathering works. Let's get rid of. Well, they can bounce this guy. I think that's fine. They have no cards in hand. Jeez. And this guy can block one ones, so. We'd have to close out this game though. Your hair swoosh is lo looking super squoosh arm. Did you swoosh it yourself? Uh, I did, I do all my own hair swooshing. Um, I 
I don't. I, I don't actually have a. I don't. I don't actually go to a swoosher. I'm sorry to keep asking. This is a commander. So I'm absolutely sure if I didn't get your. Uh, you were no. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I. Uh, I may have forgotten, and now I may feel bad about it. So if they want to pump this Brightling twice and then just bounce off my Ashen Rider, that's that's fine. Next turn we can play Whisperwood Elemental, which should actually be good enough for uh, all of the winning that we want to do. We go to five here though, and if they if they play like a Spell Queller, it's actually pretty scary. Are they just gonna make this an O six and keep it alive? Huh. I guess that's fine. Wouldn't mind a green source here. All right. This guy. So we're going to have four blockers so we can block everything but one. I think that's actually totally fine. Ash, I appreciate it. I appreciate your understanding, man. Okay, so basically, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just tell you here. Um, Mike has not been feeling. Obviously, his back and leg have been killing him, and it's hard for him to like sit for an extended period of time. And I don't feel great about uh, playing Commander by myself because a he's much better at the format, much more familiar with it um, than I am. I think that's all there is to it. Is that's the only a. <laughs> um, so I wanted to wait until Mike was feeling better. And, and make sure he can actually sit through a full commander stream and hang out and do all that. And I just want to make sure you were okay with that. If not, I totally understand. But it is totally up to you. Did Mike finally go see a doctor? Mike's been seeing doctors for like the past two weeks. He's, he likes, he's been going to physical therapy. Um, like He's been doing a bunch of stuff. Yes. Block. Uh, one, one. This one. This one. And. Well, I don't know if we actually need this anymore. I'd rather just block here. I guess we could pump this to a big creature next turn. Yeah, this seems fine. Ash, thank you so much for understanding, man. Really appreciate it. All right, well, we're taking these guys down. Who would your... I, I have no idea. I don't play enough command. I don't have my own, like... I don't have my own commander decks and things that I that, like, represent me. Um, oh no. Oh no. Don't kill my Whisperwood. Oh, 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 I've made mistakes. This is going to be rough. I guess we just keep this guy back in that case. I don't know. Yeah, this is still the fail to find a artifact game. There's the Enlightened Tutor. She'll love, have some Mike's new back bits on me. He totally could be a cyborg. He could, but he can't afford cyborg life, unfortunately. I put everything in the machine to make coffee and walked away without turning it on. Yep, you can kill this guy. I would ordinarily sack this guy in response, but in this situation, Garrick, uh, Garrick dies. So that seems more important. Well, I think it's actually more important to just pump this guy up here, and the next turn we can play two two dorks. We could attack them for five, pump this up, block. 
Is that 3-5? That's pretty good. I'm going to have to top deck. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Man, why is this grilled cheese not done yet? Oh, I didn't plug it in. Gains Vigilance, sure. Are we finally trading? I would eat electric cheese for sure. Speaking of which, do you have any stips, my nips lined up? Uh, I have like this and one other stip lined up, but that's pretty much it. And I've been doing like, I did this right. I did four drafts. So I feel like I'm running, I'm, I'm able to run through these pretty quick, which is nice. I'm a, I'm a fan. Oh, lifelink two, four lifelink seems good. Well, incoming. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh, 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 boy. Oh, Eternal Witness. You are... You are OP, my friend. That should be game. What are we getting back? Might just be Whisperwood. Nope, can't cast that. It's probably... Uh, it's probably Animate Dead. The problem is they don't even have any really permanents that I'd rather I'd run to exile with this because this they just bounce. It could just be Doom Whisper. Did you just get Doom Whisper back? Oh, we, no, we can't. We can't cast it off Druid. No, oh, we could. We could. We have a green. Yeah, we have Forest. We could do that. I think I'd rather just have 6 6 Flyer and then kill them. Because they go to 10 and then we have 11 in the air, which I'm fine with. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Spaghetti Toucher, Hunter Mike Cyborg bits. Thank you so much, buddy. Hold on, let me avoid us again. I hope I'm not getting sick. Okay. Okay. Well, that was a game. Do we want to change anything? Were we like, oh no, we shouldn't do this or we should do this? Anything? Anything at all? I don't think so. As someone with a beard... Getting snot in your beard is definitely a legit a legit fear every time you blow your nose. You're like, oh god. Oh god, what if there's something there and I can't feel it? It's terrifying. Phantom black line under jet. I was rubbing the shit out of my monitor. <laughs> god, what is this? Get off the screen. Where can I oh god, get it just get it off. Let's 
see what this voicemail is. My pest control people were not going to make it today, so they're going to have to be here, like, tomorrow. Or whenever. They just said sometime in the next few days, so. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. It's not particularly broken. Wow, he goes, they go swamp, we go forest. Seems good. Mm. Is pet control, pest control here for Mike's rat dead or the internet alligator? Uh, <laughs> both, I think. Wow. Ugh, crying out loud. Sylvan carry added was good. It let us cast in Brewer. It's Noble Hierarch. Ashiok. Yep, Sylvan, Sylvan carry added. Let us cast that too. Black, noble hierarch. All right. Triple swamps, huh? They're like, yes, I finally drew my other color this turn. Now I may cast things. Oh, they took two? They're basically dead. Wow, that's rude. Why would you do that? If we play this, they just actually cast Noble Hierarch Attack for three, which is pretty bad. I also think we want the Hierarch for the Unbarrel Rights. So... We're going to beast within that dude on their upkeep. What sounds more fun or bile? One, can't have spells that have the word target. Five exceptions. Or two, no creatures in the main. Exception, artifact duders or effects that make creatures are okay. So you can have artifact creatures, though? Like, uh, like I can have Blightsteel Colossus? What about colorless creatures instead of artifact creatures so that I could have like an Emrakul or an Ulamog? Upheaval and wildfire fun. Name cards are a must. So are fixing and mana rocks. Didn't we just do this? This is the same thing. We can't just keep doing this. Uh... Oh, I see. Not having cards with our target is interesting. They're just going to time walk when they have nothing on board but a 3-3? That's interesting. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I guess I would time walk too if it just meant I could literally cast Grave Titan. Yep, we're going to go to the next game. Hmm. What do you guys think? One or two? Run it back for a three. Yeah, instead of the, instead of the O3. All right, we're going to put this back on the list. Wildfire is back on the list, boys. You guys remember that from, uh, from that fantasy movie? All right, back on the list. All right, what did they have? Blue and red, blue and green. 
Triumph actually could be pretty good here. It doesn't seem like they have a ton of creatures. Uh, Bone Shredder seems terrible when you compare it with something like uh, Ravenous Chupacabra that kills any creature. Any creature whatsoever. Plague Crafter could also be good. Trigon Predator we can take out. I don't think we saw many things that Trigon Predator is good against. Um... I'll take a beast with him. Can't have spells with the word that that have target have the word target. That seems good. I think that's fine. I honestly think either of those are fine. Uh, we'll play first. This hand seems very good. Got a pack rat into a discard gristle brand into a necromancy. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. We got 41 cards. That is correct. That is correct. I think we're actually going to pack right here because this doesn't do anything for us. But now that we hit the third land, we can easily just discard. <coughs> that's not, that's not, that's not my nickname. We're going to, uh, we're going to lose a point of damage here, but I don't want to throw Gross Brand in the graveyard on the main phase because then they can actually, if they have their own, like, reanimate or something, they can get it back. Shut up and take my money. So step, build a stacks deck. Must take MLD. What's MLD? MLD. Easy as necromancy. Are they filling graveyard for me? A, B, C. Necromancy. me. <laughs> Mass land destruction. Oh, I didn't even know that. All right, hold on. And use the rest toward Mike's new back fund. Make Mike a cyborg fund. <laughs> oh God. All right, hold on. Let's. Uh, I just have to copy and paste these, and it's very difficult in the thing. For some reason, it doesn't actually copy it very well. I know that sounds weird. Okay, what did they do? Grave Titan, Shieldred, Hostage Taker. Yikes. Hostage Taker is nice. See, now we have decisions to make. Does Ashen Rider just get rid of any permanent? It's not land. It's not not land, right? I think we just gristle brand and get like a million mana, right? And then we can just kill their hostage taker. However, if they go, I guess we're gonna hit a land, and we can always sack the pack rat. Yeah, this actually seems fine. I think Gristlebrand's better than... Because this forces them to Hostage Taker, and then we still have... We now have Chupacabra. Let's hit a land for the turn. I think they're probably dead. <laughs> many little doggies. Must have main many little doggies, any kind of mana denial, winter orb, strip mine, etc., and use the rest... Okay. Wow. <laughs> Must have many little doggies. All right, let's not discard things that we want them to have. So, one. Uh, and Tomb is still good because it can get, uh, we can get Unbarrel Rights. Or we can get anything we want with Eternal Witness. So, that's kind of a nice little. I don't think we need Signet. Maybe we don't need this after all, actually. 
Yeah, it's fine. We have Gristlebrand. <laughs> we can just Gristlebrand. Damnation. What in damnation? Uh, do we go to six? I don't think so. I don't think we need to go to six. I don't think we need to draw any more cards. Hmm. I mean, we'd have 14 cards. We're just going to discard most of our deck and be at six life. Meaning one hit from a Grave Titan is just pretty bonkers against us. I think three exceptions. Oh my god. So not an option, not an option. We can just play Doom Whisper, I guess. Yeah, that actually seems fine. And next time we can go Eternal Witness and Necromancy, so that seems pretty okay. There's just so many things going on. Wow, De Deluge for six. I guess we'll just let it happen. Shut up and take my money. Stip my nips. Can't, <laughs> can't play any equipment, any auras, or any card whose text includes the word target. All right. That seems so rough, but I like it. I like it. I, I like a challenge. Billy, you are awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. Danny DB, thank you so much. Crutch Jr., thank you so much. You guys are great. All right, hold on. Let me, uh... I am Valley. Okay. The challenge is real. All right, we drew a land, so we don't actually even have to, uh... Let's do this jobby. I got this thing. A, B, C, one, two, three, four, you and me, girl. Let's get a necromancy back. Use this ability? Yeah, I think so. All right, who are we hitting? I kind of like Shieldred here, but I don't want to take one of their creatures because if they hostage taker it, then they get it back. So I think we're just going to go with gristle, Gristly Bristle again. And then we have Lethal on board, so they got to figure something out. Mindset Thrall. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I mean, did they get back Hostage Taker or Shieldred? That's the question. If they get back Shieldred, we can just sack Eternal Witness and then Chubacabra it. Or Vraska it, which is actually a little bit better. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. That's pretty, pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go to the next game. Now we're actually at a point where we can draw seven again. <laughs> I'm okay with it. 
You'll probably get to mine tomorrow. I might have to jump out for a bit. I want to be here for the, uh, let me know if that works for you. I'll do it tomorrow if that works for you. Yep, had a feeling. I, I feel like you can only deal with Crystal Brand so many times. I think three times is probably the limit. <sighs> also, most of the removal is black. And they do have two sweepers, which is interesting. Playcraft Rush seems pretty good here. Still haven't seen any like artifacts or enchantments, really. Is there enough cards in the queue without the word target? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, Billy, I can wait for tomorrow. We'll do yours tomorrow. I guess that targets if you'll just have to do mono green ramp into crater of. <laughs> yeah, that could work. Also, planeswalkers are good. Oh, but then like Elspeth has target. Ashiok has the word target. There are a lot of cards with the word target. All right, we're gonna have to see what works. Cause mono red is not an option. Control decks are not an option. All right, let's see if the Shelldock Isle actually uh, actually does its job this game. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's pretty unimpressive. I guess out of all these, Whisperwood is the most powerful. Not by any sizable margin, but, you know, it's still decent. A, B, C. One, two, three. I think I'm probably just going to kill this. I don't want them drawing cards. And, like, I like Liliana's Triumph because they do have things like Shieldred, which are harder to kill. Well, <sighs> wow, they're really, uh, like taking their time here. Yep. Oh, they did. Did they cut your name, Nemesis? I haven't seen it, so that makes sense. But I actually don't know what the uh, what the list of cuts and not cuts were. What did I miss? How to make a phone call? Uh, well, we had Gristlebrain come into play like four times last game. What are they demonic tutoring for? Last thing I saw was you blowing your nose. Uh, joke's on you. You couldn't see me blowing my nose. Wow, no attack, huh? That's fascinating. What can we get with this? I actually don't know. I'm just going to pass. 
I think we got to keep this chupacabra in the chamber, if you know what I mean. I like that when I hold this in front of my face, you can see the magic online components behind me. Oh, discard old she old shieldy. Chupacabra in the Chamber is the name of my band. That's a good band. I'm a fan. They discard Shieldred. Well, that's fascinating. So they can activate this, sack it, get shielded, or we're forced to sack like Doom Whisperer or something, so that's pretty rough. <sighs> Although we can just like... One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, we're one mana shy of being able to like... We can Doom Whisperer so much that we can actually make this legal and then put Whisperer Wood Elemental into play. Hmm... I mean, the problem is if we play Doom Whisperer here, we don't have a way to draw a card, so we'd literally just... They would find a creature. They would just have... They have a creature on board. I think we're just going to have to pass here, and if they just have Shieldred come down, then we can... Choop it. Choop a loop it. so weird these time warp this time warp and these time walks that have been used these games have been pretty surprising because they're just being used with no real no real reward so they have three cards in hand i mean just activate lumbering falls right sack it gets shouldered back yeah okay and then we can then we can choops recurring nightmare is pretty obnoxious though Ah, let's crack this. I think we're just having to get a basic here. Uh, yeah, this green's fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Well, it's a thing. When do the modern spoilers begin? I think next Monday. Thank you. Manowar Elves, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Grave Titan. Living Death. Oh, look, we got all their creatures. That's pretty cool. Oh, we didn't get all their creatures at all. That was just a little joke. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. That seems rough. I need to draw another card, too. My god, the rich get richer. I actually can't activate this yet. I'm gonna have to Doom Whisper like three times. Go to six. And that's presuming I want to put like all the creatures, all the cards we hit in the graveyard. Mm. Seems solid. <sighs> oh, buried alive. And you got a recurring nightmare in your hand. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good.
pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh, I'm not a big fan of energy cards in the cube unless they produce their own energy, like a Glint Sleeve Siphoner, which I think is fine on its own. But like other, most of the energy cards really need a consistent stream of energy to be any good whatsoever. Like Whirler, Whirler Virtuoso, or like Aether Flux Res, um, Aether Flux Marvel, Aether Works Marvel, whatever that card is. Pick Rat and Talon Trooper are pa Pack Rat and Talon Trooper are a good combo because you can discard the Trooper to make a Rat. Why would you ever want to do that though? Inkwellifiathan, Gonti, and Hostage Taker. Yeah, I'm just going to draw the reanimate. <laughs> oh, wait. They hit. Ah, God. No, oh, this is frustrating. Because now we're going to have to sacrifice our Doom Whisper. We could have blocked this. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we should have just played this. That's so that's so bad. I'm just like, I I think we're pretty far behind in this game, so I'm not really playing optimally. Why didn't they replay their? Let's hit with Gonti and see what happens. I'm just curious. I don't think I don't think hitting Hostage Shaker and stealing this is gonna do it. Uh we know they have a recurring nightmare in hand. Vraska Vraska's Contempt, Grave Titan, and Mox Emerald. We have to get rid of this. Um I think Vraska's actually probably better though. I really don't want this in the graveyard, though, is the problem. I think anything else we can probably deal with. I don't know why they didn't play Recurring Nightmare again. I'm really confused right now. Playing around Rexage doesn't make sense. They just play it and then they sack immediately. They sack Putrid him to get back like Inkwell Leviathan. <laughs> and then it goes back to their hand. Like that doesn't make any sense. No, I mean, like, just play it and bounce it. Yeah, like, they could have done this last turn. I mean, Inkwell Leviathan probably seals the deal against us. Which, I mean, they could have, like I said, they could have done it last turn and just had Inkwell Leviathan. Gonti probably drives a Maserati. He does look like he's a Maserati driver. Also, for the longest time, a Maserati was my, like, my goal car. That was a, I was a big Maserati fan. Still think they're fantastic, but... Oh my god, come on, let's go. I mean, it's funny because like we have actually less time than they do, but... Are they just figuring out what to get? Like, their options are literally Hostage Taker, Inkwell, Leviathan. 
Like, you just get Inkle Leviathan, right? I guess you could get Hostage Taker and then replay Gonti, which is very, very good. But, I mean, Inkle Leviathan just finishes off the game, I think. I have no cards in hand, so, like... This is seven unblockable damage. All right. I don't know what's going on. Apparently lots of decisions. Didn't you have a game yesterday where you got like three Gaunti triggers off OP's hostage taker? Um... I don't think so. I don't think I played Gonti at all yesterday. I feel like we did something similar though. If anyone knows what we did, let us know. Don't you hate pants? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, now I have an 18 second voicemail, so I'm gonna listen to this one too. I keep getting these telemarketing calls that are like, you have, uh, there are like, there are felony charges out for like, like a warrant, like just like crazy, like spam robocall threats. And it's just like, you need to call us back immediately. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm good. Thanks. It's someone must have narked on you. <laughs> Nick, I'm consistently impressed with your ability to like uh to to come up with these off the cuff, man. What are you getting back? Ingle Leviathan? Yeah, that seems fine. Toxic Deluge for six, huh? Well, might as well find something worth it, huh? Is Ashen Rider good? None of these are good, right? So we're going to put both these in the graveyard. All right, got one more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think these are both fine to keep. Thank you. All right. Well, any order's fine. Ishiki, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I mean, it doesn't really matter because they have recurring nightmares. So they can just keep getting that dude back, right? They could just go any kind of dirty creature. Corpse dance. All right. Yep, that'll do. This is match three, right? We lost round one, game one, one game two. Yeah. All right. Well, we tried. We did our best. Uh, uh, this seems great. 
Terras. This actually, this is like the the most bonkers hand. Turn two survival, discard Terras to not animate dead turn three. You didn't want to see that Leviathan dance? Uh, oh, actually, we could have just played Mox here, I guess. Could have went Mox Forest, survival, next turn. I guess we, yeah, we said, hmm. We gotta land. We could have could have just done this on turn two instead. But I, I guess I'm I'm trying to I'm feeling generous today. Okay. Discard Terastodon. For what, though? Hmm. These are the questions. These are the questions. Man, I wish we had another green source. Then we can discard whatever else we get. Scarab God seems a little bit slow. We could kill the Bomat Courier. And then just do whatever we want next turn and just cast Scarab God. That actually seems decent. Oh, this is an artifact. We can't do that. That's bad. I guess we're just gonna we're just gonna reanimate uh We're just gonna animate Terastodon. Play land, make sure. Okay. You like kill animate dead, so like we just get a Terastodon instead of a. I mean, we would just have a three three instead of an eight nine if we killed the animate dead. That seems pretty bad. We're just like we're literally just throwing away six five five six of power or toughness. Uh, Pro Red seems good against the Mono Red deck. Also, Trigon Predator seems pretty decent against this deck as well. We saw at least Skull Clamp and uh, Bomat Courier. Um... Beast Within is probably not great. We don't want to give them a, a thing. You get it back in the graveyard? Yeah, but who cares? I don't have a way to get it back out of the graveyard, except for Scarab God, which is like three turns later. Mulligan keep, I guess. This hand's not great. Aggressive. Wow, all right. Ho. Oh, let's do that. Let's make that happen. We are no longer going to make that happen. That is unfortunate. All right. Well, we have an animate dead, so if that gristle brand went to the trash can. Two two animates. If we can hit that uh, that all all uh, all pleasant, I don't know. I don't know where the world I'm looking for. Let's just hit it in tomb. All right, that's all I want. I am not gonna block. Yep, that's another reason. Okay, another land? Seems good. Seems good. Let's get in there for one, because we're not blocking, so why not?
Oh, well. Seems good. <laughs> right. That's all I need to see. All right. All right. I might just bring in Nature's Claim. I had given them four life, but I don't think it matters with our deck. And we've seen Skull Clamp, Bomacker, and uh, Sulfuric Vortex. Take out the Simic Signet, I guess. Maybe take out Ashiok. Yeah, that seems bad. Ashiok's part of the stip. I don't know if it's correct, but it feels okay. Languish could also be decent here, but it kills a lot of our our uh, our creatures. I'll keep this because of second turn Trigon Predator, and hope we draw Black Source. Hopefully, it's like a Twilight Mire because that would be great. Wow. Watery Grave. Watery Grave. Creeping Tar Pit. Eh, Swamp will do. Alright. This is a good start. It's a good start. I mean, they're, pl they're playing red, so yeah, we definitely got bopped that fast. They're going to try to hit a mountain here. They did not. Seems okay. <clears throat> I kind of just want to kill this thing now, but I don't know. We're going to do it anyway. Oh, that was a good hit. All right, so now we have two removal spells online, one of which is going to gain us some life. I think that's probably very good for us. I assume they're going to play Hellrider here. Could have actually waited to kill this, but if we drew something worth playing for, like, four mana, uh, I would rather have done that. Or if we drew, like, Whisperwood Elemental, we could have played Forest instead and played that. Like, having five mana, having access to all five mana without giving them a chance to, like, attack is pretty good. Especially when they have nothing else going on. And then we wait. Cough. Okay. I accept. Are you going to untap a little land? Seems good. Speak of the devil. A turn too late. Well, not too late, but a turn later anyway. So, this can deal three to Koth, which I think is probably good enough to just play Whisperwood. Because he can't negative two. Could have also attacked with this, but then not do anything else. Verdant Catacombs. So now we have double blue. We have a white and we have double black. I think our hand is pretty good here. Like, the thing I'm, I'm counting on is that we can kill whatever they play. Well, except for this guy. That was actually probably the best thing you could have played.
Yikes. Because now they can kill our Whisperwood Elemental. Yep, that's pretty brutal. I think we might just block here because I don't really feel like taking eight, and then we get a two two out of it. And we don't have to draw that for us now. We don't have a second blue, but I don't think we actually need a second blue. So one, two, three, four. Big choops. Kill that dude. Attack cough, attack your face, attack your face. Seems fine. Adding two. Playing Hellrider. Wow! <laughs> That's incredible. Yep, Fiery Confluence is a hell of a card. Oh wow, the uh the play Eidolon, then play Jackalpup. Solid. Yep, that changes the game a little bit. I mean we can start activating creeping tarpet next turn thanks to this, but wow. Go to six. I mean this guy just comes comes across and kills us if we don't draw something good. But we have a lot of draws here. That is not one of them. 6-6 six, six or 8-8? Eight, 8-8. Eight. Eight, eight. So I actually think that's the game. Uh, they pump this guy and then they attack for 8. That's... Kind of sucks. <laughs> what can you do? Literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lands we saw. That's pretty good. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, mandatraders.com, and meundies.com slash franklapore. You can find all of those links and promo codes in the description below. Mana Traders will get you 20% off the first three months of any subscription. Meundies.com slash franklapore will get you 15% off and free shipping. So definitely check those out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.